Lucifer Season 1 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important if you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Lucifer, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case, you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And surprisingly enough, I'm actually relatively new to Lucifer. About a year ago, I watched the first five, six, seven, eight episodes maybe. Don't really remember much about those episodes, but that's as far as I got. And then I stopped watching just because I had too many things that I was trying to watch. And it just kind of took a back seat to everything. So... Usually I try to watch every episode of a show before I start to review it, but in this case, it's a recommendation, and I gotta follow through with my, you know, the requests that I get. So, without further ado, this will be Lucifer, Season 1, Episode 2. The title of this episode is called, Lucifer, Stay, Good Devil. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing, finishing watching the episode about two hours ago. There's a guy talking about the devil on the streets. Now, I can't remember if he had something to do with a church or not. He seemed like it, but I didn't actually write that down. But if I if he did, I cover my own ass there. And he thinks Lucifer is trying to take his business of getting money for preaching here on the streets. And Lucifer actually shows him his devil face. And the guy throws all his money up in the air and then runs away. Lucifer has a therapy session with Dr. Linda Martin, uh, tells her he's the devil. So he's pretty open about telling everybody that he's the devil. And she tells Lucifer he's insecure. He's changing. And then they get it on. And then Lucifer goes to the club he owns, Club Lux. And Chloe is there. And Maze gets Chloe a drink, says compliments of Lucifer. And then Chloe says her, being Maze, and Lucifer seem really close. And that uh, she had followed Lucifer through the gates of hell. Chloe asked Lucifer how he survived getting shot by Jimmy a bunch of times. And Lucifer thinks she sees something she truly desires. And she doesn't know what to do with herself. She gets close to Lucifer just to feel if he's wearing a bulletproof vest. Which he's not, of course. Chloe gets a call and then suddenly leaves, goes to a crime scene. Dan, her, ex, her ex-husband, is there. Uh, she's not supposed to be involved in a case until she recovers from her injury. And then we have Daniel Faraday from Lost is being arrested for the murder uh, of this person that was in an accident. And Lucifer asks him what he desires and he says he'd like to confess. Chloe thinks Nick, that's the Daniel Faraday guy, is covering for someone and he is going to try, or she is going to try and prove uh, his innocence. And Chloe doesn't like this character. Uh, Chloe mentions to Dan, Nick is innocent as he wouldn't confess to a parking ticket before. Lucifer is actually smoking pot at the crime scene and the pot that Lucifer smoked thus far is the only evidence. Amenadale shows up in the morning when Lucifer wakes up, tells him to go back to hell. Lucifer tells Amenadale to take his ultimatum and shove it up his feathered hole. That was pretty funny. Amenadale mentions he saved the human because he cared. Consider my offer when you've made a decision, or a decision, and you know how to find me. Trixie asks Chloe... If she was watching a naughty site as she put away what she was looking at really fast. And then Lucifer shows up at Chloe and Trixie's place. Trixie is, of course, very happy to see Lucifer. And we find out that Chloe lives at her mom's place. Lucifer goes to see Nick. He wants to find out about Chloe Decker from, from Nick. This character has a big history with Chloe. And we find out that Chloe's father died two weeks after the Hot Tub High School movie. Uh, he took a photo, I think at the funeral, that pissed Chloe off. And then Chloe talks to the victim, the victim's dad, the person that died in this episode. Uh, their father was some rich 
kid kind of with a Hollywood parent. And then Lucifer is back at Club Lux. Maze tells Lucifer Amenadiel was right. Chloe shows up wondering how Lucifer got into Nick's holding cell. Chloe leaves and actually wants Lucifer to come with so she can keep her eye on him. Lucifer and Chloe recognize a photographer from the crime scene from earlier. He says, Chloe, and then he, he, this photographer says, Chloe, show us your boobs to create a discra 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 distraction, distraction, and then he's able to get away. Dan follows up on something that Chloe had told him and then gives Chloe the information. Chloe and Lucifer go visit Josh, the photographer. He says he wants to be first and Nick is, is, is his idol. And Josh likes to smoke pot and he takes a photo of a celebrity getting smacked. And they think Josh is the one that's behind the exit as he, he creates these opportunities where he's able to get a shot. Because he has a bunch of moments to happen that he creates. And then Chloe goes to talk to Nick, Daniel Faraday. And Chloe says, believe it or not, she forgives Nick for what he did after her father died. And then Chloe, uh, she now gets uh, another call from Dan, and that call is to tell her that Josh is missing. Now Nick is missing as Lucifer had grabbed him while she was taking the call. And Lucifer says that Nick is a necessary evil, tells Nick to embrace that. Maze pulls Josh out of the trunk, and Lucifer gives both of them a gun and says, let's see who's going to shoot who first. Chloe shows up. Amenadiel also arrives, and Josh pulls the trigger, but nothing happens. And then Nick pulls the trigger, and it fires, and then all of a sudden everything is slowed down, like the time has been slowed down. Lucifer stops the bullet, and Lucifer actually kicks Josh in the balls. And then time goes back to normal, and Josh is arrested. And then Trixie reveals to Chloe that she already knows about high school hot or high 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 school hot tub. What are the hell the high school hot tub thing? Uh, she's actually already seen it. And then we see Dr. Linda Martin and Lucifer waking up in bed together. And then Chloe goes to visit Jimmy, who is the guy in the first episode that shot her and Lucifer, but didn't even phase Lucifer, but she got really injured. And he's heavily medicated, and he starts freaking out when she mentions Lucifer's name, banging his head on the area that he's confined in. The, was it glass? Plexiglass? I don't know. And says he's the devil. He's the devil as people come to restrain him. And of course he's bloodied up from doing this. And that's what ends the episode. So this was an okay episode. It was a little boring at times. I'm going to score it a 7.1 out of 10. And my character of the episode, well, is Lucifer. And really there's no other shining star except for Chloe. Maybe Dan, but I'll give Lucifer and Chloe. I think that's going to be a theme here the characters of the episode. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you are a fan of Lucifer, which I hope you are since you're listening or watching this video, make sure you smash that like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Share the video with anybody you know. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Lucifer. What would you rate the episode and whom would be your male and female character of the episode? I know it's kind of tough with a limited cast so far. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.